Hi, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to another video on Excel tips and tricks. In today's video, I want to show you the use of the fill handle. The fill handle is very useful to make um, sort of laborious tasks much quicker. So, let's say, for example, you have to type uh, in number 1 to 10, and you have to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10, um, or let's say you want to do a hundred or a thousand or whatever and you have to number it. Uh, the fill handle is very useful to help you do this task much quicker. So what you need to do, let me just delete this, so what you need to do, I'll just zoom in slightly, um, so we've got one there. The fill handle can be accessed by going to, going to the bottom right hand corner of the active cell that you want to start in. So if you look at the cell, you see this little square right on the corner right there. Now if I move my mouse over it, the white crosshair becomes a thin black crosshair and th when you get the thin black crosshair you are in the full handle mode. Now what you need to do for a sequence of numbers, you must have the sequence started. So I'll just type in number 2 there and now Excel knows we want to um, fill the numbers down or copy the numbers down by going in increments of 1, 2 and so on. Increments of 1, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So if I click on that and just drag it down all the way to 10, boom, and it's done. So it's very quick and very easy to use the full handle in this way. Um, you can also use it across, but I just want to show you if you only have one number, it doesn't understand the sequence, if you go across it'll just copy a bunch of ones. So that is also useful in itself if you just want one uh, the data in one cell and you want to copy that over. I'll just control Z that so that we can see that we are back to where we were. So that's how you will uh, or how you can do that. Another function of the full handle is for example if you are doing months. So let's say you've got January, um, and let's go this way now, and February. And so Actually I think you only need January, you don't need to um, do a sequence because it'll understand that. So if I do the same thing, I'll just go across, you can see January, February, March, and so on and so on. It will work for January if you spell it out, or just January, February, March, just like that. Um, very quick and easy way to automate some of your tasks. Um, and this is uh, useful for a variety of things. If you have a formula, for example, it works exactly the same way. You can copy down um, the formulas which I will show you in some later videos but for now just some of the basics how to copy numbers and how to copy the dates using the full handle thank you for watching